Well, today is a very exciting day. We have polar bear mother dressed in her apron and visor because she's going to be serving some ice cream to some brand new residents that are joining Critterland. And we have the beaver uh, hiking siblings that are going to be the welcoming committee. He is so cute, one of my favorites. Those little tiny shoes. Can you guess who they might be welcoming? Nope, that's just a table, but a pretty table. They are welcoming the amazing Beaver family. Woohoo! So excited. This is the 2021 limited edition Beaver family from Japan to celebrate the anniversary of Sylvanian families. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful family. And I will show you a translation of this here in a moment. But they are very happy to be joining Critterland. They came from Kobe, Japan, my favorite seller on eBay. And we will check them out. But first, I want to open this little table that I got. Uh, this was from Amazon Japan. I got it a while ago. And it looks very similar to this other table, but you can see it's got some differences. So I thought I would take it out. And it would be the perfect table for the beaver family to use to enjoy their ice cream. I think this was about $6 from Amazon Japan. I added it to a larger order and I just got it because I thought it was really pretty and would be very useful here in Critterland. Now this matches the park bench that we already have, the same style and color. And this is not part of the town series, whereas the tea and treats table came out with the town series. So it's just a little bit different, but it goes together well. I love that it comes with this little piece of glass, well plastic, <laughs> that you can pop on the top. And then you notice that there's like a rim around it, so it doesn't just sit on top, it, it actually is inset a little bit. So that's really pretty. And it matches this other table, but the colors are slightly different. And obviously this tea and treat table is very ornate. It kind of looks like uh, it's meant to be iron, where this other one uh, looks a little more simple, like it's, you know, bent uh, metal piping. Very pretty. Wow, these are even prettier out of the bag in person. So shiny. And doesn't that really look like a, like a metal finish? Like this Tea and Treats one doesn't quite have that same glossy metallic look. They're just, they're just different. But they're the exact same size. If you look at that, you can compare all the details there. And uh, the back there. It even angles out in very much the same way. Which one do you like better? Let me know in the comments. I like them both pretty much the same, but for different reasons. <laughs> Very pretty looks. So I'm going to compare the tables here. They look, yep, they're the exact same size. See that? Very beautiful. I think we are ready to introduce the beavers and let them have a little soft serve ice cream and get acquainted with Critterland. Now this translation uh, I did thanks to a wonderful viewer who suggested I use an app. So you can pause that and read it if you want. The translation is a little funny but <laughs> you get the main idea. Um, basically the dad likes to build is the uh, essence that I got from it. 
This box is really pretty, by the way, and it's small. I noticed all the Japanese boxes are just uh, actually quite a bit smaller than the Calico Critter ones. And there's the back. Now, wait a minute, look at those little uh, beaver tails sticking out. How cute is that? All right, I'm gonna hurry up and take these out. <laughs> Adorable! Look at these beavers! Now these are the Waters beavers and they have been put out for a long time starting back in 1985 and you can see all these different versions. You can pause it and take a look more closely. And then there were the Woodbrook beavers that came out which are different and that's what the hiking siblings look like. And these are actually very different. They're the same mold and color it looks like but the outfits are a little different or a lot different, except maybe the mother's dress and the daughter's dress. And uh, you'll notice that they've stopped putting aprons on the mothers. I think they got criticized for that at some point. Um, so I noticed that. She is just beautiful. I love her dress. I love the color. I love that tooth. I love everything. Just so pretty. And look at that tail. It's like you can see it's kind of creased there as it's sewn on and is just so flappy. Very fun. There's the back. Unfortunately, there's a little spot there where her head hit the box. But she's still very cute. And here is Brother. I just love his outfit. He's got a whole little suit on, kind of like a romper. Very cute. I wish my son would wear something like that to church, but I don't think he would ever be caught dead wearing something like this. But it's really cute on the beaver. I love the plaid. I love his little tail and his buttons. Now that leg looks a little longer. That pant leg looks a bit longer than the other leg, but that's okay. And I noticed that the limbs are like um, a little bit loose on, uh, definitely on him. They're not as like uh, sticky or they, they just don't, they turn a lot, almost too easily on him. So I don't like that. He is really cute. Oh my gosh. He is solid color. He doesn't have a little dot on his nose like the uh, Woodbrook Beaver Baby. He's got a single little piece on, little yellow plaid, or this could be a girl. I don't know. No tail there. I just want to eat him up. Or her. So cute. So you can see how much darker these waters beavers are compared to the Woodbrook. And I love the little, the different color nose on the Woodbrook beaver. I kind of wish the waters beaver had that, but they're still very cute. And you can tell their face and ears are shaped a little bit differently. These waters beavers have chubbier cheeks, which is really cute. And they all have the little teeth. Very cute. She has a dress that is most true to the original dress, except there's lace that goes around the top. And it has a solid red uh, at the around the middle. That classic white with the red polka dot. Very cute. Just adorable. And finally, we have Father Beaver. He's got a one-piece suit on, too. All the little gentlemen have these little single suits on. And it's a very handsome suit. I love the color, the little buttons, and it has a wide yellow collar. Very pretty contrast. And he's got a little tail sticking out. It's a green color, but it kind of looks like denim. And he just looks really, really handsome. We are so excited to be welcoming the beavers. And let's take a closer look at these uh, Woodbrook beavers. Now you can tell their ears are back further and their faces are a little narrower. Now this is like the older sister size beaver compared to an adult waters beaver. So we're not gonna get a direct comparison, 
but you can you can get the idea. I don't have an adult woodbrook beaver, and I don't have a teenage waters beaver. But yeah, you can see those cheeks are just so uh, chubby on the dad, and uh, obviously the fur color is quite a bit darker. The, and the waters has a lot more definition on the face. They both have the teeth, and the woodbrook um, has a has a little tiny ears that kind of stick back whereas the waters beaver have big ears. Well, we are gonna get them some ice cream and polar bear, bear mother is excited. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.